In part three of her amazing motorcycle journey, SNN's Azure O'Neill chronicles her trip through Ecuador. From Cartagena, it's a 10-hour bus ride to the international zone between borders where our bikes are stored. Venezuela recently closed its border, which complicates the reimportation of our bikes into Colombia. We spend three days at the customs office, not getting anywhere with the paperwork, but making friends with the Dion customs officials all the same. We're invited to soccer matches and family dinners, during one of which a head official Raul addresses our situation. Le vamos a dar un he cannot give us the normal 90-day permiso, but will give us a special five-day transit visa to make it across Colombia to Ecuador. We're devastated by this news, but when we get to the border zone, we realize how insignificant our problems are. Behind me here, you can see the closed Venezuelan border. Well, this situation has proven to be a nuisance for us. For the people who have built businesses here between the borders, it's an economic disaster. No tenemos nada que hacer. No hay nada que hacer. No hay trabajo. No hay platica. Senora Chachi owns the compound where our bikes have been stored. She says conditions are even worse for the indigenous Wayu who live in the desert. Chachi translates for Lila and Yudi, who travel from the desert to work for her. The bikes need a lot of TLC after being in storage. Our curious and kind Colombian friends are always around and willing to give a hand. It's pretty much been like the best 10 minutes ever because at the same time as we have the bikes running, Raul told us that he was going to give us a regalito of 90 days. We're not sure what has changed, but we're thrilled to ride back into Colombia and begin the next part of our adventure. Reporting from my motorcycle, I'm Azure O'Neill for SNN, the Suncoast News Network.